Rick's Corner, the man, the myth, the legend, now on with the show. Welcome to Rick's Corner. I don't know if all of you know this, but I had a uh, little bit of a leg problem the past three weeks. I'll make this real brief. Um, I kicked the ball for the dog outside and I didn't really notice anything. I just had a knee replacement a year and a half ago. I was fine doing hack squats and everything. And then the next day I woke up, my uh, side of my knee was sore. And then it started to fill with fluid. I could hardly walk on it. I mean, it was like really sore. I had to actually refer to a walker to get around the house. So I went to an orthopedic, not the one that did my knee, a friend of mine. He says, no, there's nothing wrong. Your x-ray looks fine. Your skin is pink and you could possibly have a little bit of cellulitis. Well, I had that once before, which has cured my antibiotics. And so he put me on Bactrim. I don't know if any of you guys ever had this. So four or five days goes by and it doesn't really look any better. So I go to my cardiologist in Beverly Hills, did a blood test and nothing came back uh, wrong. There's no um, infection in my blood. They did an ultrasound, there's no clot in my leg. And he says, well, it could be cellulitis. Let's switch it to Keflex. Okay, a few more days goes by and my kids are yelling at me, you gotta go to the ER. It's not looking good. My calf must have been like this and I couldn't bend my leg. So I go to the ER and the doctor looks at me and he says, <laughs> He wants me to stay in the hospital. I said, no, I'm not staying in any hospital. Clint Eastwood and I don't do hospitals. <laughs> so I said, um, what do you want to do? He says, I want to give you an IV of a really strong antibiotic, uh, vancomycin, and whatever this will knock it out. I said, look, I have insurance that cover, covers home care, so give me a couple of nurses. So they sent me out nurses. The nurse hooked up the IV and they put it in my arm an hour in the morning, hour at night, showed me how to do it. I did it myself and I went back to the gym and did upper body every day with a cane and with a walker, but I was in there. Nothing stops me. I feel better when I go. <clears throat> so after, um, I don't know, four or five days on the antibiotic, I said, this is not, I don't even know what it's doing, but it's still swollen. So I went to my original orthopedic. Now this is where this is, this is kind of funny because my original feeling about this was right. And everybody said I was wrong. He looks at my leg and he says, I think you have a little tendonitis on the side of your knee. You might've twisted a kick in the ball. And that is called venous stasis. Venous stasis is the narrowing of the blood vessels in the bottom of your calf. It happens as you get older and then the blood doesn't pump out the water and it fills up and it gets irritated. My suggestion to you is what your cardiologist did, but you keep on the diuretics, get rid of the water, wear the uh, compressed stockings and you should be fine. I got rid of the cane yesterday, I'm walking the day fine. I even did legs the other day, lightly, but it kind of irritated, but I'm back in business. So basically my main thing was I did the, what I thought was right and I was right the first time out after having to go through all that stuff and he said the antibiotics weren't even necessary they're just gonna harm your kidneys okay that being that I just want to get that clear because people have been asking me how I'm doing and I'm doing fine I'm doing fine my mind just keeps going which leads me to this okay in your life and in your workouts and in your everyday social events you have chapters in your life, you build chapters. You have a chapter when you're a child, when you get to the next level, when you go to school and you get to the next level, when you go to college, you get to the next level. And whatever you do, you have a chapter that you develop on your life. Now, a hard drive, a terabyte, is one big room. And what you do is you divide it in partitions so that you have things in order of where they are. Well, your life is too. It's one big life. And if you divide it into chapters, then you have different periods in your life of chapters that you can reflect on and you can go to the next chapter and then go to the next and the next and the next. You can do the same thing with your workout. If you have chapters in your workout and you know what you're doing from this month to that month or six months or down the road, you can develop your body even better because you're taking chapters to do development. I went back to Bakersfield many, many, many years ago to an old gym I went to and he had a workout card on me that I made out curling the 65 pound dumbbells and the routine that I did and I thought, oh my God, I forgot all about that. Well, that was a chapter in my life I forgot about. But I read it and I thought, well, I'm gonna bring this back and make a new chapter out of it, because it seems right to me. So look at this way. A, sane, a train sits on a track and it's sitting still. It's not going backwards and it's not going forwards. It's just sitting there collecting dust. You don't want your life to be like that. Any movement forward is a movement in progress and success. So you're building another chapter, another chapter in your life, which will take you to the next chapter. Make sure that you learn from the old ones, that things you did wrong, 
correct them and apply them to the new chapter. And then the new chapter will take you on beyond that, and you'll go on beyond that, and you'll keep going forward. This is, I've been thinking about this for two days, and I think it's the right way to think because I've been doing it for years. I've always reinvented myself and reinvented my workouts. And I've always had great success by doing it, and I've always had a great attitude. And attitude is the key. So if you have new chapters in your life and you have a great attitude, you're going to have good success. And if you're going to apply that to your workout, you're going to have great workouts. And if that works out okay, you're going to have a great body. See how it all falls into place? I really, truly believe that. So I hope this inspired you. And um, I did go to a funeral once, and there was a minister who read a poem called The Dash. And I incorporated that on Facebook, and something I just wrote. The Dash is the space between the day you're born and the day you die. And they said the dash tells a lot about a person because it's their life, it's their chapters in their life. Not that it's any length visually, but there is a length in your dash between th those days. If you have a long dash and you've developed a good life, then you can be proud of the dash you had because that dash shows who you are and that's your life. So with saying that, I'm just saying, just make sure that you have a long dash to last your lifetime because that's who you are and that's who you can be proud of. And being that, Stay positive, train hard, and keep a good attitude, be nice to people, because it's really important today in this world. There's a lot of stuff out there I don't like, so I try to be nice to everybody. Thank you guys for watching Rick's Corner. I love you so much, and keep on watching. Hey everyone, now you can have the Goals Gym logo drawn by me, the artist Rick Drayson, personalized and made out to you and signed by me to frame and put on your gym wall or wherever you see fit to do so. It's a piece of bodybuilding history. It will never be duplicated again. It's the largest selling icon t-shirt logo in the world. And I'm the guy that drew it. And I will draw it for you. Just go to my website, rickdrayson.com and order there. You can pay through PayPal and it'll be sent out right away. And be sure to watch Rick's Corner for all the videos on bodybuilding, nutrition, fitness, pro wrestling, and anything that suits your interests as far as getting physically fit and being the best you can be from the golden era of bodybuilding. Baby, see you next time.